I've decided to uh, redo the head of the horse. Um, the other one, the horse's head was okay, but it, it was lacking in some qualities and uh, right size and everything, but uh, it just wasn't good enough. And so I'm going to redo the head and uh, I'll be right back. Time to play with some play. All right, I'm not going to show everything because I cover this in a couple of my uh, instructional videos that I have on Vimo. Uh, if you want to check out the uh, what's available, you can look at the link or check the link in my video description below this video. And uh, it will take you to a review of all nine of my instructional videos. All right, I'm going to get busy on this and I'll be back in a little while. I'm just blocking in the uh, skull for now because that's the basis for the uh, head of the horse. The uh, skull is really close to the uh, surface of the uh, horse's face. And if you don't got the skull right, the uh, horse's head ain't going to be right. Okay, I'll be back in a few minutes. I made the uh, eyeballs out of a different kind of clay and it's a uh, clay that hardens stone hard overnight and I made these last night to uh, fit in the skull so I can work around the eyeball without damaging the eyeball. This is the stuff here. It comes in a two-part putty. And I would go on YouTube and check out how to use it. Uh, it's got some things that you need to know. Um, I couldn't tell you where right now because I did it about six months ago. I've never really used this stuff until just recently. But it comes in a two-part putty and you mix them together. And uh, it will form a hard object, which is good for some things. Not everything, but some things. Anyway, I'm going to continue working on this, and I'll be right back. I'm just double-checking the length of the skull to make sure I'm to the scaled drawing I've got here and uh, it matches really good okay I worked out ahead of time the size of the head uh, to the horse that I'm working on I'm pretty certain that you can use just about any publishing program to uh, scale anim anatomy drawings to match a uh, figure that you might be doing. I use a real old one. It's called Printmaster Gold. And they got a new one now, Printmaster Gold, which is worthless. Seems like the newer the, they get go and the they hire people to do nothing but improve their product. Well, their people have to justify their employment, so they 
improve, but they improve so bad that, uh, or so much that you can't use it. And the old version was so much easier to use. So I don't even know you can still get the one that I use. I'm just praying that the next computer I get, if I ever get one, I'll be able to put uh, my Printmaster Gold on it. Okay. The eyes are lined up. That's a big key. You don't want one eye lower than the other. And they're lined up across too. Man, it's really storming outside. The horse is going to have his mouth open. That's why I've got the jaw in the position I've got it. This may be all I can do today is just a skull. I'm sorry I didn't show very much of it, but like I said, I have a, this covered in several of my instructional videos online and uh, like I said before I've got a link to a review of all nine of my instructional videos you might want to take a look at it and take advantage of the uh, over 50 years of me sculpting and coming up with ways of doing things all right this might be just a little overkill on my reference <laughs> Somebody years ago, I think probably 30 years ago, sent me this skull. I painted it to look like clay uh, for the shadow effect and stuff like that. But it's a uh, horse's skull that was found on the uh, prairie of uh, some place in Oregon. It's a wild horse skull. And uh, it helps me to visualize the structure of the skull. You, you can look at drawings all day long, but you can't get the feel of the shape. And uh, it really does help to have a good reference material. When I got it, it was in a box and uh, there were all kinds of bug shells, rem remnants of the bugs that cleaned uh, the skull on the prairie. And I took it to a, uh, car wash <laughs> and uh, blew them all out. Now I drilled a hole to, to uh, screw the jaw in place. I also drilled another hole to hold the jaw together. And then I put it on a Lazy Susan so I can turn it around and I screwed it to the Lazy Susan. And it's really helpful to uh, have a visual like this when you're working on a horse's head. I can see things I've got to do already to improve what I'm already working on. Just a footnote on this skull. I'm pretty sure you can go online and buy skulls. They're expensive, but well worth the uh, expense if you're doing a lot of horses. And, uh, but there are, bone places or skeletal places that sell animal bones and stuff like that and uh, I'm fairly certain that you can get a good 
but, uh, horse skull someplace. All right, everybody. Uh, just make sure it's not a, an Arabian <laughs> skull, because that's going to be really strange unless you're doing Arabians. Now, to brace my hand, I've got a stick that I use. Kind of like what an art a painter does when he wants to get detail and uh, he doesn't want to have a shaky hand when he does it and I'm doing the same thing Okay, I'm going to have to pick this up tomorrow. I'm just running out of time. It's taken me a, a long time to get this far. So, when I finish this little part of the socket, I'll uh, call it quits for the night. I'll pick this up tomorrow. I got a lot of work on this uh, skull to do to get where I like it. All right, everybody, have a great night, and I'll see you next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.